Bachelor has its own riding style and the flow of the trails is kind of unlike anything else and it's really challenging and pretty difficult to you know get stuff dialed but it's that's what makes it fun it's loose and it's different. It's unlike any other bike park I've been to um, you're riding down a volcano. That's probably the most unique feature about Mount Bachelor you're riding down a volcano. Mount Bachelor's trails are unique because of how diverse they are they can be really rocky or kind of flowy with some jump trails and berms and yeah, everything about it is just so awesome. My name is Carson Storch and I'm a professional freeride mountain biker. My name is Kate Meyer, I'm a competitive downhill mountain biker. My name is Reed Boggs and I'm a professional mountain biker. I'm Kyle Jameson and I'm a mountain bike enthusiast. I build mountain bike trails professionally and I ride mountain bikes professionally. This year um, we are building a new trail here at Mount Bachelor. It's called Red Line. It's supposed to be more of a black diamond jump trail. Since the bike park opened, it's pretty consistently progressed every year. All, all the new trails that have been put in are all like slightly more progressive than the last and Red Line, the new jump trail, is going to be pretty progressive, especially you know in this state and on the west coast. I think Mount Bachelor does a good job of catering to kind of all different levels of riding. Because it has challenging terrain and all different types of terrain, from you know fast and flowy to steep and technical, I'm able to get the training I need to travel around the west and, and race downhill. You can go ride you know, blue trail and have fun on it at any level, or you go ride a black diamond trail and have fun on it at any level and you know, progress every run. So I think that's fun and it's challenging. It's a really challenging mountain to go fast on. So it makes me want to keep coming back and keep doing more and more and more. It's a place where high level athletes can come up here and challenge themselves and ride something different, but it's also a place where, you know, people just getting into the sport or kids can come and ride the same trails a little slower and they can slowly progress into, you know, riding at that higher level. Now that Bachelor has a bike park and it's establishing itself every year, it's progressing and the trails are getting better and better and new stuff is getting built. It's just rad to have something at home that is progressing the mountain bike scene overall. It's hard to pinpoint what my favorite part of Mount Bachelor is. Um, definitely how close it is to Bend is a really awesome feature of the mountain. They're open late in the, in the summer, so you can come up after work and, and get here within like 20 minutes from town. Living in Bend is awesome. Uh, there's just such a great mountain bike scene here and so many people that are fired up about the same passion that I am. I love the community here and all my friends and it's uh, yeah, just a great place overall and Mount Bachelor kind of adds to the overall scene and it's just an awesome place all year round to come up to so I'm pretty stoked to have Mount Bachelor in Bend.